Hello friends, this is McBurney, and welcome to my Let's Play of The Room 2. Now, I am super excited about this game. For those of you who don't know, this is a puzzle game. It's like a mystery puzzle, um, and I actually played the original game a couple years back on my phone because back then I believe it was only made for uh, mobile phones. Or not mobile phones, but you know, just for like mobile platforms. Um, I think this is the first time that they've decided to take it into PC. So I don't believe it's a direct remake of the first game. I think this one actually expands on it some more because in the first game, the focus was just on one specific item and the puzzle, all the puzzles were in that one item. But in this game, I guess it's supposed to actually be like a full room. So I'm really excited because I really, really liked the first game. It was actually super relaxing for me to play and I just loved figuring out how to like open the box and you know, because what's in the box? What's in the box? Maybe some people wouldn't get that reference. But if you do, cookies for you. Okay, let's start a new game. Load screen with the clock and clockwork. Ooh, mysterious. Ooh, a tutorial. Okay, was there a tutorial before? I don't remember. Click to begin. Okay. Click and drag the mouse to look around. Okay. Double click on the note to focus. Click and drag to open the note. So it's like I am playing on like a mobile still. It's just, it's not touch screen. Uh, if my calculations are correct, then this is where you will emerge. Welcome friend, we have much to share. Now you are blind, but I have left you provision to see that your passage might be shorter than mine. I am forced to conceal it somewhere in this room and trust in your wits to uncover it. I am not the only ghost in this place. A. S. At least I think that's an S. Interesting. Click to continue. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have the eyepiece again. Click the, check the eyepiece in the inventory. The lens is broken. Hmm. Okay. It clearly is broken, but part of it's not, so... Can I still use the part that's not broken? Because that looks like it's still working. Okay. That's cool. Right click to zoom out. Okay. Zoom out further to view the rest of the room. Ooh. Wait, I'm done with this table already? Aw, oh, it won't let me change. Okay, double click the other table. Double click on the round box. I love how it's telling me very specific things to do. Rotate the keyhole cover. Uh, oh, there we go. Push the button. A push it. Click and drag to open lid. Yeah, this is a very physical game. You're very involved. And I'm sorry if you guys can hear the clicking of my mouse. I'll try to take that out and post, but I kind of have like a weird setup right now because I sold my desk because the desk was not working for me. Even though it served me for five faithful years, I had to get a new desk. And I actually just got it in the mail, but I need help putting it together. So hopefully I'll have a better setup next time. Hopefully. A puzzle. It looks like some of the objects can be moved. Okay. Does that mean you want me to move them? Is this part of the tutorial? Okay, well. Oh, I see, I can spin it. There we go. And that one goes there. And that one goes there. I love puzzles. They're so fun. Oh, it's a drawer. Slide open the drawer. Click the lens to pick up. A peculiar looking lens. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure the lens, yes, this lens looks like it would fit the eyepiece. So what do I do about that? Oh, perfecto. Oh, I see. It's another, okay, it is part of the eyepiece. Click to wear the eyepiece. 
Sometimes the eyepiece can be used to see things that are otherwise hidden. Ooh. Click on the fingerprint. This is very much like the other game. What, I needed to see the fingerprint to know to push the button? Pick up the piece, I guess so. A small piece of shaped metal. All right. I should try to find where this piece can be used. Yes, click to remove the eyepiece. Explore the room. Okay. Well, let's see. Well, let me look at this. A small piece of shaped metal. It's got a circle on one side. Um, that's where you made it. Oh, okay. So, yeah, but it definitely looks like it can be inserted into something. Hmm. All right. Let's see. I don't know. Because in the other game there was a box, but then there was also the table it was on, the pedestal, and that was sort of involved. Oh, here's another letter. Pull the letter out. Ooh, okay. 23rd October, 1883. Mr. Rigby, suffice it to say that I do not share my colleague's faith in your character. Were it up to me, I should not engage a man of such low breeding and even lower station as yourself. The very thought of taking a grave robber into our service chills my stomach. But as Mr. Du Montfaucon is fond of saying, needs must as the devil drives. <laughs> That's a funny one. It falls to me, then, to brief you in your ungodly task. As you should be well aware, you shall only be paid upon your successful return with the artifact. Should you find yourself having any ideas otherwise, I must stress to you that while the artifact is of enormous value, it is only of value within a certain small community of researchers. It is not for the eyes or hands of an uneducated man such as yourself. I unconditionally demand that you do not interact with the object in any way. It might prove incredibly dangerous for you to do so. It is an instrument of great power and should not be interfered with by, with by inferior minds. Wow, it's not even signed. What a jerk. Okay. <gasps> hey! I found another one! Interesting. Is this any different? It looks the same. I guess we need multiple. Okay. Alright. Well, that makes me curious. Is there more over here? Let's see. Yeah, you always gotta check these tables. Because sometimes they hide stuff. I know, I probably shouldn't just be randomly clicking, but sometimes it's hard to see, especially in the shadow. Alright, well, let's focus on this, I guess. So, there is something you can insert here. Okay, so how do I... Does that flip? No, it doesn't flip. Okay, I think this needs a lock. Alright. What is this? Are these important? No, oh, doesn't look like it. Okay. So... Nope. Does that mean I'm done with that? Because I can't double click on it? See, this is a little different from the other game. Um, let's see. You know, that kind of looks like a... Oh, there we go. So we do have to go back here. Okay. This panel appears to be missing two shaped pieces. Well, I found them. How do I use? That you did not tell me. Do I just... There we go. Oh, cool. Okay. And deep. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it moves. Okay. So, I see. We have to make it bigger. We have to make the hole bigger! Okay. A strange brass sphere. Let's take a look at that. This looks like it belongs somewhere. Really? Oop. I keep double clicking. Can I open it? it looks like an eyeball. Especially with the way they did this, it looks like an eyeball. Oh, there's something on the back. Oh, the base looks detachable, but not by hand. Hmm. 
Hmm, okay. So I need something for that. Um, okay, there's nothing there. Oh, does it go in here? It's strange. Okay, so drag it over here. Oh, it is an eyeball. Interesting. Okay. Um, whoa. How strange is that? Perhaps the code is hidden in the room somewhere. Okay, well. Is this like some weird clue compass? And so, oh, okay, so it's putting the letters that my arrow ends on. Lands on. Okay. Okay, nothing weird there. Okay, interesting. Alright, well, we got a good start to this game. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it here for now. Um, if you want to buy the game, I'll, of course, put a link in the comments below. Um, and then if you guys played the room or if you've played this game, uh, don't give me any hints yet because I just started, so I don't think I'm doing too shabby right now, but please go ahead and leave a comment down below. Um, and then if you like the video, please make sure to leave a like. And then be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you can keep up to date with any new videos I put out. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye! <laughs>